And when I was a kid, a typical pediatrician would see one case of diabetes in his entire career, juvenile diabetes. Today, one out of every three kids who walks through his door has either pre-diabetic pre -diabetic or, or diabetic. Something's wrong. We're spending more just on diabetes than our entire military budget. And we know why it's happening. It's high fructose corn syrup, and it's, you know, glyphosate and, and neonicotinoids and atrazine and all the other crap that is in our food. We're not feeding people, we're poisoning them. Nearly half of tap water in the U.S. is laced with hormone-warping forever chemicals linked to cancer and infertility, major government study finds, with worst pit areas in California, Eastern Seaboard, Great Lakes, and Great Plains. So then what happened was he called me and she said, Dr. Anna, everything that you've been saying about the infrared spectroscopy is correct and the electrical conductivity. I want you to go and buy some meat at your local grocery store and do live blood analysis and see what's in it because I'm getting this frequency. And I looked at it under the microscope. And so the same structures that I believe actually a hydrogel possibly combined with carbon nanotube or graphene were in there. We found um, genetic DNA evidence of children's teeth in the food, in the burgers, which linked it back to, was it a West, not Wisconsin, Missouri or Wyoming, one of those states that's in the middle of nowhere, where they actually found human meat inside one of the processing plants at McDonald's. Very disturbing. But why? But why? It's where they hide the bodies. That's what they're saying. You know how many children disappear every year? Where are they going to hide? Say if there's 250,000 children disappear in America every year, where are all the bodies? You know, you got most people think, what are they going to do? Drive them along the highway? They always get discovered. They never bury them deep enough. You've got weather conditions that expose them, animals expose them. It's hard. You'd be surprised how difficult it is to hide a body. Two teenagers are still in a coma after they were exposed to a deadly pesticide while on spring break with their family. Apparently over time, the family was found in their villa on St. John Island and the father was in a coma and the two boys and the mom were suffering from severe seizures. EPA officials say a pesticide at their rented luxury villa may be to blame and the Justice Department is now launching a criminal investigation. No idea. Look, I don't know about your circle of friends, but I would venture to say if I went to Times Square here in New York and asked people, what is or what are GMOs? They would say HMOs? No, no, not your insurance. GMOs. They would have no idea what you're talking about. And I'm going to just try to uh, rinse the water off here. Okay. Yeah, you can go ahead and do that one. And so... Oh, wow. As you can see... I, there is a little bit of this. So this is regular tap water. Yep. I can see there's a little bit of color in here, but that there's more color in there. And so what happened is this water actually took off the pesticide that is on the tomatoes. A monograph showing how um, glyphosate causes cancer. They gave it the second highest rating for cancer, which means um, they call it probably causes cancer in humans. Sufficient evidence that it causes cancer in animals. So it causes cancer in animals. Humans are an animal, causes cancer in humans. Study has said that people who are exposed to chlorinated water uh, or have an increased incidence of heart disease, heart attacks, breast cancer in women, and uh, Alzheimer's and other forms of cancer. And you know what? Most people don't know that we get two-thirds of our exposure to chlorine in the bath or the shower when it's absorbed through your skin. Let me show you something. This is ordinary Tucson tap water. And it's the same water because I'm pouring it out of the same glass. Mm -hmm. These are the same pool test drops you test for chlorine in your backyard swimming pool. I'll drop five drops in each glass. Oh, look at that. Almost instantly. And if it turns yellow, there's chlorine in there. There's Very chlorine. clearly. Now, I'm going to swish my fingers around in this one to simulate taking a bath or a shower. Just for a couple of seconds. Watch. Same number of drops. 
Wow, no sleight of hand here. And you're saying in those two seconds that you switched your fingers in there? All that chlorine was absorbed right through the skin of my fingers. Now, I'm gonna do something that I haven't done much down here. This is a, just a slice of potato. I'm mm -hmm. gonna swish it around in there, just for that length of time. Okay. Drop the same number of drops in there. Look at that, just the same as your fingers. Don't tell me it absorbed directly into the food. Every bit of that chlorine just went right into the food. So whatever you're cooking in chlorinated water, it's going right into your food and you're eating. PSA for anyone going to the grocery store. Yes, even natural health food stores. Next time you're in the produce aisle, please be on the lookout for this label. And whatever you do, do not go near it. Appeal, or Ed Appeal, is a World Economic Forum and Bill Gates-funded product that is being sprayed on fruits and vegetables, which are on the verge of spoiling, so that they appear fresh and last longer. Even more frightening is the fact that Appeal has been approved for use on USDA organic produce under the name Organapeel. The main ingredient found in the Appeal coating is mono and diglycerides, which are extracted from grapeseed oil. This is then processed with the use of two solvents, which are ethyl acetate and heptane, both of which are hazardous chemicals known to seriously damage internal organs in the case of repeated exposure. This coating cannot be washed off. Additionally, the World Health Organization's International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC, recognized glycidol, another name for these same ingredients, as, quote, probably carcinogenic to humans. So why are they spraying this literal poison on our food? Understand that this drink right here, Gatorade, is extremely toxic and poisonous for your child's brain. Literally one of the worst things that they can ingest. And I'm gonna tell you why right now. This has something called Red Dye 40. This is a petroleum-based artificial food dye that has been directly linked to things like anxiety, depression, and autism. And there's a reason why this food dye has been banned in many other countries. Grocery stores are spraying our organic produce with pesticides, antibiotics, and even preservatives. This is a substance called Produce Max that they spray on all of the organic produce and it's so toxic that it legally cannot be thrown into a trash can. It has to be disposed of in a special way. Fruits resemble bipolar disorder and a manic phase, and the effects last less than a day. Blue makes them tired, moody, and grumpy. There's no disorder for that yet. <laughs> but the effects last about a day. Yellow is sneakier. Yellow intensifies emotions, increases anxiety, increases agitation, aggravation, and defiance, leading to violent outbursts and thoughts of suicide. The behaviors resemble oppositional defiant disorder and conduct disorder. And the effects last five days. So I came across this chart and I wanted to share it with you guys. Um, there are new names, they're renaming food colors because you're avoiding it and they don't want you to avoid it. They want you to buy their chemical filled food, yellow number five, which is tartrazine. Like you might not have a clue what that is. So uh, just keep this chart somewhere in your uh, screen, like take a screenshot of this chart. Now we have this story coming out of the Defender. It says U.S. approves GMO wheat grown with neurotoxic herbicide. So now we already know of Paraquat and Chlormaquat that is in uh, the food supply in cereals, something that the Biden administration has tried to increase, not just from cereals, but to other things, chemical that uh, causes gender dysphoria, by the way. It's, it's basically a puberty blocker and it's put in children's cereals. And of course, um, it causes brain damage, causes uh, things like the destruction of your DNA, causes cancer, heart issues, all sorts of autoimmune disorders. Now on top of that being in cereal, they are now pushing this neurotoxic herbicide. So we already know that the wheat supply is heavily poisoned. We already know that this uh, this this intolerance to gluten and stuff like that comes from seed oils and GMOs. And of course, uh, we have a huge problem with the stuff that they have been already spraying the food with, glyphosate namely. But now we have even worse issues coming up at the same time as we see this fake meat that is now being approved 
by the FDA, and it's absolutely disgusting. It's already in restaurants, it's already on the shelves of stores, and you don't even know it's not real chicken. 